So diffusion is the process where material is transported by atomic motions. One of the simplest form of diffusion is diffusion bonding occurs when two materials come in contact with each other. There are two basic mechanisms for diffusion which are vacancy diffusion and interstitial diffusion. The reason for the two types of diffusion stems from the relationship between their relative atomic sizes. Vacancy diffusion occurs primarily when the diffusing atoms are of a similar size or substitutional atoms. The movement of uh, substitutional atoms requires a vacancy in the lattice. Uh, the, the movement of a substitutional requires a vacancy in the lattice for it to move into. Interstitial diffusion occurs when the diffusing atom is small enough to move between the atoms in the lattice. This type of diffusion requires no vacancy defects in order to operate. Diffusivity is defined as the rate at which the solute or impurity penetrates into the solid base and material. The time and temperature are fairly self-explanatory, though it should be noted that temperature increases the rate of diffusion with increasing temperature. Assalamualaikum to everyone. My name is Nur Adika, and now I will conduct an experiment diffusion of tea bag. For apparatus, uh, we have two tea bag, we have two clear container, and we have hot water and cool water. Okay, to start uh, the experiment, we have to fill uh, the container with the hot water. For container A, is a cold water and container B is hot water. And now we take a tea bag and we put it into container. Diffusions. The wall of the tea bag, however, keep the leaf inside. The particle that you taste when inside the tea are so, sm are so small, pass through the tea bag. The process that move the particle uh, and uh, and the water break through the and the water break through the tea bag if called is called diffusion. After a certain of time, we can see that from a container B, it states that, state that diffusion is more faster from than container A. Then, from the principle of mass transfer, it states that the particle, mo particle move uh, from molecule high concentration to lower concentration. As temperature is higher, the molecule vibrate move faster and cause diffusion to faster so it proved uh, so it proved that the container b is happen diffusion more faster compared to container a My name is Nur Zarina and today I will demonstrate to you the diffusion process of spaghetti in boiling water. For experiment 2, there are three things that are necessary for this um, experiment. Number one is spaghetti, and then a bowl and a pot of boiling water. So firstly, we put the spaghetti strands inside the bowl and then we pour the boiling water inside the bowl until 
all of the spaghetti is submerged. Okay, and then we leave the spaghetti in the boiling water for about five minutes. see that the osmosis take place and the hot water diffuse inside the spaghetti whether it's, it is hot or cold the water slowly enters the porous fibers of the pasta and stays in there making the pasta expand and hold the water between the fibers and making it soft in your spaghetti and boiling water the spaghetti is dry with no water it is put in with a loss of water it gives and this cause it become unbalanced so then Diffusion depends on five main variables. These variables are initially concentration, surface concentration, diffusity, time, and temperature. The initially, the initial concentration of the material that is diffusing into the base material is often referred to as the solute or impurity, which can be, but is not always zero. The surface concentration is the amount, weight percent of solute near the surface of solid, base and materials. And lastly, we would like to thank Madam Aziati for this opportunity. Thank you.